everybody. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Hello, everybody. So, I know it's been like a month since I've done a video, and I apologize for that, but I just haven't had anything to do a video on. But now I do. Um, today is my 20th, 21st birthday, and yesterday I got this for an early birthday present. It is a dream machine I've been wanting since last year, and it's the Rekar 25 Series Premium Pet Upright Vacuum Cleaner. Yes, I finally own a Recar. I do have that simplicity of freedom, but I really wanted a Recar. Ever since this came out last year, I've always wanted it, and or whenever it came out, and here I am, another a year later, having it in my collection. Um, yes, yeah, so I got it yesterday, and um, yeah, it's a really nice vacuum. I even though I only use it down here. And that's it, but so far I really enjoyed using this vacuum cleaner. Um, I forgot to bring the box over. Um, but it's like a black box and it has all the series like on the side of the box, if you know what I mean. So you have the bottom, middle, and then the top range, which I have. Right here, which is pretty cool. It says the big car logo on it. It's pretty cool. Sorry if I don't have an unboxing video. I did it off camera because I wanted to make sure I did everything right without getting frustrated on camera. So... Yeah, everything is fine. Um, but yeah, this is it. Um, I guess I'll go over the features. Oh, before I do, these are the things I got. I got, obviously it's the pet mouse. I got this pet brush or pet tool, I should say. I never, ever used this before until yesterday. Um, so apparently it goes like back and forth with these rubber blades and these felt strips on it. And these are suction inlets, so they'll grab the hair and, you know, suck up the hair as you go along. And you can obviously open it up right here if anything is jammed. I do not know how it works, but you can kind of see how it works. kind of does that and grabs the hair and stuff like that. I don't know why that moves, but probably because of that. But anyways... And then yeah, there's that tool right there. And then also I got a pack of six bags of genuine Hepa Media vacuum bags for all of car models. Um, how this actually came to me was they actually opened the box up and put them in there. But this box and obviously can, you know, fold flat and the bag, the plastic bag that hold the bags that were in there, they rolled them up and put them in there. But I fixed that problem. So it makes it look nicer and more neat. So that's what I did for that. But anyways, let's talk about the machine. So underneath, lay it down gently. You have a metal metal brush roller with very, well, I guess medium stiff bristles, I should say, on the vacuum, which I like to see. Um, and these, they have these little swivel casters down here to help move it along easier, which it does. I really like that. Um, yesterday, what did I do? I was vacuuming the tile down here in the basement a little bit, like a little section. And already, like, like the performance on bare floors, it's good. But now, like, if you see the, these little wheels too, like, they help as well. But now, can't hear it now, but this wheel... I don't know if you can hear it. Yep. And now it, it squeaks. Now, so I got to get some oil in there to fix that problem. So if you hear any squeaking, that's the wheel. And I apologize. So I don't know how that happened, but it did. And then the headlight right here, you have a bright LED headlight. And these two lights right here at the end show um, when you pick it up, dirt. So it like, flashes like an orangish yellow color, which is nice. Um, and then down here it says best for edge cleaning i haven't tested that yet i don't want to scratch this thing up I, I i know it's a rubber bumper but i don't want to scratch it up then it says ball protection lifetime right here on the base of the vacuum cleaner and then it says right here world class clean which is awesome and then right here you have a filter right like right here and this one has you can hear that has charcoal bits in it reduce odors because this is a pet vacuum cleaner which i never had a vacuum cleaner 
that has a charcoal filter. So this is my first vacuum with a charcoal filter, which is cool. And then I really like the, the gold accents on this vacuum cleaner. Now you can see me. Hi. <laughs> um, also, you have the bag inside the vacuum cleaner right here. So you have this little gray button back here. And you press that and it lifts up. Hang on, let me try to do it with one hand. Well, there's the bag, but usually it would be, it just gets stuck on there because it has a good seal. But anyways, you would open it up and then there's the bag. Then you take it out, you toss it, put a new bag in. It has the cloth bags, which I love to see, or the fleece material bags. There's some dirt in it because I did vacuum down here and it picked up quite a bit of dirt. Um, and then down into the bag chamber, I guess you or not, probably can't, maybe a little bit. There's another filter down there. I don't know how to get that out. I don't want to mess with it right now because I don't want to break something. <laughs> Even though I highly doubt it, but uh, you never know. And then you just put the bag in, then you click it down all the way. And then you have another filter down here, uh, the exhaust right here, which is nice as well. And then... Above that, you have a bag check full indicator or a clogging indicator right there. Um, me being the dumb one, because I won't, I'm going to say dumb, but I'm new to this machine. I saw this cord hook right here, up here, and then I looked down, and I'm like, well, what the heck is this? And then I realized that's where you hook the, the cord at, <laughs> which I think is pretty cool, but I got to be careful because this is spring loaded. It's made of plastic. If something goes wrong, or if it was in the wrong position, this thing could snap. And I don't want that to happen. Um, what else? The other tools that come with it is this very nice long crevice tool. So, yeah, there's that. Um, did I mention the beginning of the video, today's my birthday? I might have, but yeah, today's my birthday. <laughs> and 2021. 20, anyways, so here's the other tool, the two-in-one tool. These nice, I don't know, I guess horsehair bristles on it. And then you can slide this brush off. And there's like a little upholstery tool on there. And that just fits right on board on top of the handle. Um, oh, there's another thing I want to show you that's very interesting about this vacuum cleaner. Um, if I can. Uh, oh, yeah, I have to turn it upside down. Where the hose is. Right here, this netting material, and there's this wire, obviously, to, you know, power this or something in here. But yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting to have that netting right there. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Ah, uh, this vacuum cleaner. Well, it's a recar, and it's different. Another thing I do like, it's this easy-to-pull-out wand. Um, with a very long stretch hose like i really like the stretch hose obviously it's a telescopic wand right here as you see you pull that back and you telescope it out then you can press this button right here to not have the wand just have the handle and that's it and then suction control open for plush carpet so you open that for plush carpet which is nice and then it just fits so nicely back on there and this part right here if you can hear that but that swivels which is nice. Um, now, if you're planning on getting one of these, I found out from somebody, just be careful of down here. Because if you're releasing the vacuum, have this flat to the flat on the floor, and do not have it like up like this and then slam it. Because it'll break, and then you, when you're like, like, um, like when you, when you do that, when you're like, you wouldn't put it up, put it up lightly. Like that, so nothing else breaks. But overall, this is a good calling machine. Just be careful. And then up here, you have your on. Oh, crap. Well, there you go with the machine. On off switch, and then um, your on off brush will switch. And I guess when I put it on low, this thing flashes. So, um, yeah, so you can turn it off and have the brush will go slow for some reason. I don't know why. But, anyways. Yeah, with not enough of me gibbering for about about it for nine minutes. Let me show what you guys running, even though you just heard a sneak peek of it, but oh well. Yeah, so here we go.
Yeah, so as you see, it does a really good job. It's just this carpet sometimes will not show lines, and I don't understand why. But, yeah, this, I absolutely love this machine. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video of my Ricard 25 Series Premium Pet Upright Vacuum, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for reviews from me, and have a great day, everybody. Bye.